So the first thing we're gonna do for this job is remove this air box. Well, it's two from the air box. It's basically two screws you're gonna remove. One right here, eight millimeter, connected to the air filter, and one right there, eight millimeter, connected to the throttle body. We wanna get under there. That's basically where we gotta get that oil you feel to the housing. So we're gonna start by taking that them two off. Remove all your plugs, that easy. Then we're just gonna hit these screws, eight millimeters. Four, five, six, seven. There's two more in the front, you can't see them right now. That's eight, nine, and then there's two back here. 10 and 11, eight and nine and 10, 11 are 10 millimeters screws. And what I like to do when I take those off, Look, I get me a little piece of metal or something or a screwdriver. I did a lot of these, so I know what I'm talking about. And I just bend this metal back. Be careful because you're on plastic. We'll push these metal bars back. They'll bend. They will bend. This makes the job so much easier. They're not thick metal. You remove those. And now, look, I'm going to show you the front two screws. One right there, and the other one right there. Now, if you don't bend those back, you will have to remove the um, the brackets holding that. But that's why you bend that little um, two black things back, and it slides right up. Now, here goes your location of your screws, just showing you. Nine. 10, 11. Bending that back makes you be able to slide that up. Now you want to uh, undo your, um, what's these things called? They get injector clips. You want to unlock all six of your injectors to the three on that side and the three on the other side. You might want to throw a towel over that. Uh, <laughs> Intake manifold lower the lower intake manifold and cover those holes It's up to you. You don't want to drop nothing in there Then you want to just remove these screws one two. I think it's like eight screws on the lower intake manifold And there may be some clips you got to remove also that's holding some um, wires in the back But this is how you unlock your um fuel injector clips. They have locks on them. If you're dealing with a 3.6 Dodge Chrysler engine, yeah, they'll have locks on them. And you just lift the lock with a pick. You see it pops up. And then you squeeze the plug and pull it up. Yeah, so that's the lock. And then you then you would just do the normal thing to remove the clip. And with those six and those screws up, yeah, uh, manifold comes uh, the bottom intake manifold will come right up. The one that has the fuel part that has the fuel rail. Now we're looking at our oil filter. This is where we need to be because this is where the problem is. And now you're gonna need an E eight Torx female Torx eight. And there's uh, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like seven screws holding that down. <laughs> and then that's how it looks when it's off. You see all that fluid down there? That does not belong there. And then that holes in these two plugs is will be unplugged. The plug I was just tapping, that's the oil pressure sensor. And the other plug is the cooling sensor plug that I took out. I took the cooling sensor out. But you will see it there. You got the holes, oil pressure, and the cooling temperature sensor. That's how it looked when it's cleaned out. I got all of that fluid out of there that didn't belong in there. Oil and the coolant that leaked because the gaskets or the O-rings needed to be changed on that filter housing also. 
So I would recommend if you're going to do this job, change your O-rings because they're more than likely going to go bad in this 3.6 engine. They usually always do after time. So if you're in there already changing something, change your O-rings. One, two, three, four, five. And that's it. Do the things in reverse. Put it back.